This is Ella. Um, she's four years old and she's just started school like other four-year-olds. But um, things are a little bit different for Ella. Ella was deprived of oxygen at birth. It left her severely disabled. She can't walk or talk. She's fed through a tube in her stomach and she's partially sighted. It must have been a really tough time. It's been an interesting four years, but she's done well. She loves her life. She's a happy child. Mm -hmm. She's not in pain a lot of the time, but her brain can't process the images that her eyes are sending to it. So mm. she, um, she can focus on certain days or in certain minutes, but then another minute goes by and she won't be visually aware. Ella's condition is so complex that her mum and dad were in desperate need of specialist help. So when they found Daughter Nursery just before her first birthday, it was life-changing. From providing support for parents as well as finding a place that can help Ella and understand what is wrong with her and have had experience of dealing with other children, it's been amazing. You've been pirates. Arr, get off my boat. The nursery is part of Dorton House in Sevenoaks, a school run by the Royal London Society for Blind People. They look after kids with a whole range of visual impairments. Where's the camera? It's the camera. Can you explain Harvey's condition? He's got um, a very rare eye condition. That means he can't see in the he can't see in colour, so he sees black, white, and grey. Hello. What's happening, Leo? Leo is also very sensitive to the light, same as Harvey. Are we at the nursery? He calls it special nursery, don't you? Because it's special. This obviously is a special nursery, not just for Ella and her family, but for all the kids here. And I can't wait to go and have a look inside. It's Ella. We grow together. It's crucial for kids to come here when they're young because vision isn't fixed until around seven years old and early stimulation can help to develop their neural pathways. So there's every chance that by coming here as children, their sight will be improved for the rest of their lives. Before she'd just be stuck and looking up in one direction. Now she will follow and she will smile when people approach her. That's a good boy, well done. <gasps> That's yours. Thanks to you guys, children in need have been able to give the nursery sensory toys and equipment and a specialist massage service to help the kids understand how to communicate through touch. Make all the movements as firm as you can because it's much more comforting. That's lovely. Now the bit I've been looking forward to, a weekly music therapy session which helps to improve concentration, communication and body awareness. Oh, should we listen to Ella? Listen to Ella play. Yeah, Ella's playing. Like the rest of her friends, Ella has made huge improvements since coming to Daughter Nursery. But for every visually impaired child that they help now, there are hundreds more still in need. I'll sing to you guys. They're desperate to expand these premises and even have ambitions to open another nursery. But to achieve that, they're going to need your help. I would like to say thank you for having me here. I'm having a good time. Yes, I am. Thank you for having me. It's been amazing to be here today with all these lovely, lovely children. It's been great to watch their music sessions and, and see what the fantastic work Daughter Nursery does for these kids to help develop their sight. But we need more money, so please pick up the phone and donate on 03457 33 22 33 and we can help all these lovely children out. Thank you.